Hello, my name is Steve Baskoff, and I'm with the Digital Scholarship and Communications Office at the Jean and Alexander Heard Libraries of Vanderbilt University. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning about loading and saving files in Python. What we will see is that the actual commands to load and save data to files are relatively simple. What's more complicated is figuring out how to find and access those files from your file system. So we will spend quite a bit of time talking about uh, code and text editors, and also about how to navigate to the default locations where your programs are saving and loading files. If you've arrived at this video from some way other than our website, you may be interested to know that this is a part of a series of videos called Code Graph, and you can learn more about it by visiting the landing page at vanderbilt.lt slash code graph. We'll start by talking a little bit about text and code editors. There isn't really that great of a difference between text and code editors, other than that code editors have a lot more built-in tools to help you in the circumstances where you are writing complicated text like computer software. A text editor simply allows you to edit text and save files in a very simple format that does not include all of the invisible metadata of the sort that's saved in Word documents. So when you save a text document, the text that you type is the only thing that's saved in the file, nothing else. Code editors share that characteristic with text editors, but they often have built-in tools for things like syntax highlighting, checking for errors and bugs, uh, helping you to automatically format your data, auto-completing things like parentheses and so on. So we're not really going to be using code editors, but they are an option for creating and opening text files, such as the type that we'll be learning about in these lessons.